Wow. <sighs> That's crazy. What happened? I guess I guess Vincente did more damage to me than I thought he did. Because I didn't realize how I was going into that with so little health. Man. That sucks. Oh! Dang! When the save loaded, I'd already hit him. Ow. That sucks. I didn't have a whole, time, a whole lot of time to think about that. Oh well. Anyway, let's talk about some basics of combat, which I haven't actually gone over this yet because we haven't done a whole lot of fighting. This will become more important when we get to places like the arena. Where, like, basically, if they are blocking, you want to do a power attack. Yeah, yeah, we know. But if they're not blocking, then you want to just swing as many times as you can. You end up doing more damage that way. Silver Longsword. That's nice. I mean, Suffer Thorn drains a little bit of health, yeah, but I think the Iron Longsword might actually be better enough that it's worth using instead of, you know what I mean? Or we can start by using Shadow Hunt, but we get less of a bonus on that. Anyway, let's go ahead and heal a bit before we go smack Mirage Dar around one more time. Man, I can't believe that he had that much health. He stood up to that sneak attack better than, uh, Vincente did. Yeah, so basically now he's got to heal up and... Yeah, that's good enough. Let's go ahead and kill him. Hua! Now he slice and dice. And he paralyzes again. That's kind of annoying. Thankfully it's only like three... And <laughs> he runs away and closes the door behind him. That is great. Of course, it's not that we... He can do to stop us from opening the door again, so... Now we just have to fight him. Hua! Again, he's not blocking, so we just swing a few times. Smack him around. Sometimes if they get near low health, you might want to just take a power attack. Even if they aren't blocking, because you can knock them off their feet. And that could be the uh, end of the fight for you. Nobody behind us. Dude, you see what his sword was doing on the ground there? It's crazy. I'm amazed that like the rest of the uh, guild is not just freaking out right now. That we are going around killing people. But I mean... I'm not gonna argue with it. What else have we got? Hey, he mentioned the Valtteria's chest. Wait, he doesn't have a key for his chest? That's strange that he wouldn't have a key on his person that opens his chest. Perhaps it's somewhere else in his room? That's... It's weird. We'll have to come back to that later. I'm not gonna mess with it right now. Let's heal up a bit. So who do we want to take out next? I can tell you that, uh... The orc is gonna be a pain in the ass, because he's gonna put up a fight. I guess we might as well take out this Dark Guardian before we have to deal with him in another situation. I don't want him coming up behind us while trying to kill somebody else. Because he will defend the Sanctuary in that manner. So let's go ahead and finish him off. We don't have to worry about him anymore. Ah, and it's so you, Antonetta Marie. Is there anything you need? Could be tricky to actually get a sneak attack on her, because she's definitely yeah, looking at us. Alright, chill out now. Here we go. Hooah! My brother. Dang, she doesn't have much health at all. This is easy. I'm gonna smack her down. Come here! One more power attack. Gotcha. Alright, shrouded armor. Nice. House key, and Twin Notice Marie's key. Take some gold. Man, my Xbox is running really slowly today. I don't like this. It's like lagging a lot. You know, like whenever I hit B to close somebody's inventory, like it has to think about it for a while before it closes the inventory. That's not cool. What's the Dark Guardian gonna have? Right, this bone meal. Okay. I guess I could have figured that. Alright, Tianava is the only one left in this room. So he's next! Rawr! Oh, it's back of the head, smack him. And this is not the most creative way to fulfill this quest. Just because, I mean, obviously I'm just going around and just picking him off one by one. But there's something you can do, like Summit Mist Manor or anything like that. Like, you can't convince these people to kill each other, because they're all, like, guild members. You know, they're all, like, family members, or however they put it. Man, he still had that Argonian heart on his person. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm hitting B. Okay, good. Alright, so you see we've got two markers left. One in that room, and one not in the sanctuary, apparently, since it's, it's pointing me to the well. Yeah, there's one person, uh, and I thought it was Antoinette Marie, but I guess it might be the uh, female... Uh, well, no, that's Antoinette Marie. That's the female Bosmer. Not Bosmer, but Breton. Dang, alright, so who's left? I haven't killed a Chiva yet. She's probably in here. But anyway... Oh, there's two people in here. Oh. Gogron, Gro, Balmog, and Ochiva. This isn't going to be easy. They're the only two in here, right? Alright, so what do we want to do? Use the bow? I guess we could. Oh, well, damage health, damage magicka, weakness to poison. Alright. So we can get over here and sneak a bit. Take a shot or two on Ochiva. 
Actually, I don't know. Do we want to start with the Chiba? Or do we want to start with the Orc? I think we want to. I think we want to level up. Yeah, look at that. That's actually kind of cool. I actually want to go level up, but I don't want to like leave the room because of the loading screen. It takes so damn long. Why does it keep making me pick the memory unit, man? It should know by now where I want to save. All right. Whatever. Oh, hold on to that arrow. Shit. <laughs> oh, good thing it went low. All right. Whoa. Sneak attack. Yeah, I think playing this guy with the bow might be a good idea. Keep distance between you and that big yeah, axe he's got. Whoop. If I can pull this off, that is. Yeah, watch out, alright. Oh, is Ochiva coming after me too now? Or is she going after him? She doesn't seem to be going after anybody. You beg my mercy. Oh, you better. You better, boy. Dang, I missed. Oh, right in the face. Dude, look at the number of arrows he's got stuck in him. This can't be right, is that what he said? Oh, I gotcha. Sorry, dude. Had to be done. Take those arrows back. Iron! Dude, iron crap? BS, man. I don't know, if you come back here when you're like at a high level, he'll have Daedric armor. You can get a nice set... Ochiva, what, what are you doing? Hey. You've seen Lucien Lachance, then. Good, good. I know whatever task he has for you will be carried out with skill and discretion. Yeah, it's not like I'm just gonna go killing guild members in front of go you. Go now, dear family member, Oof. and may the night stuck you in the head. wrap you in her cold Is she really gonna get stuck behind these, like, the, for this whole fight? That's kind of funny. I wish there was a way I could zoom in on her, but I'm not at a high enough marksman level. As you'd be seeing the fact that all these arrows are hitting her in the face. Sith has saved me! Sith has saved me. I haven't heard anyone say that yet, I don't think. They've all been asking for the Night Mother's forgiveness. For what, I'm not sure. Oh, gotcha. Your Barksman skill increased. Awesome. Shrouded Armor, take my arrows back. Oh, it's Talandril who isn't in the Sanctuary. Oh, I know Chiva's carrying a copy of the Lost Jargonian Maid. And we get the house key again, and some more gold. Not a whole lot of gold. Exit the inventory! Exit! Okay, so, now we gotta wait. I'm gonna go back to this main room, and we're gonna wait in there until, uh, team... Oh, well, didn't have, to, didn't have to load. Okay. So now, basically, we're gonna wait, uh, days at a time. Until, till Angel gets back to the sanctuary. We'll have a nice warm welcome waiting for her. Oh, she's back! She's over here in the living quarters. Maybe we can get her while she's asleep. Alright, let's go find her. I don't know if she's asleep or not. That green arrow is pointing us right to her. No, she's just chilling out. Let's see what she's doing. We can sit down and have a, have a talk with her. Like a blessing from the night mother herself. Isn't it wonderful? Hello, brother. It's good to see you again. The night mother has been smiling upon you, I hope. Oh, certainly. Not upon you, however. Arrows always strike true. Oh, they do. And go over here. She can still see us, huh? Maybe I need to, like, sit somewhere behind her. Yeah, here we go. Perfect. <laughs> Use an arrow, even though we're close enough for a melee attack. Whoop. Oh, we're gonna get an archer's fight. Alright. How to win that archer's fight. Basically, line up a shot, take it, and then move around <laughs> some. Don't stay in one place, don't move in one direction. Moving left and right you. like this isn't gonna work sometimes. Because it'll actually fire ahead of you. It can be tricky. You, you gotta try to line up your shots while also moving around enough that they can't hit you. And you see, sometimes it just means that in order to get them, get a shot on them, you have to stand still long enough that they hit you. The good thing is that if they do shoot you and they do hit you, about half the time their arrow will stick into you, and you'll actually be able to fire it back at them. That's kind of neat. Oh, I was moving backwards in a straight line for too long. Oh, we're starting to stagger her. Her health's getting low. Why? Why would you do this? And of course, moving in and out from behind cover is good, too. But generally, just moving around a lot is going to be the key. The purification is now complete. Every Dark Brotherhood member based out of the Satan Hall Sanctuary has been killed. I must now report back to Lucian Lachance at Fort Farragut. Okay, cool. She's got a bow. Let's see what else she got. She's got all my arrows stuck in her. More armor. Sorcery, venison, house key. Her key. Great. Alright, Book of Daedra. Shopping list. Beer. Lots of beer. <laughs> okay, cool. 
And you see, here's one of her arrows that she missed with. There's probably some stuck in the chairs and stuff over here if I could find those. Whatever. No big deal. I guess we can go ahead and level up, huh? How about that? Let's do it. Just to see. We're up to level 3 now. Nice. Dang! We had a lot of skills go up during that level. Look at all the bonuses. We only can pick three of them, though. Okay, personality is right out. I don't even care about that. Taking speed because it has a five. I usually take the fives. <laughs> we got a three and a three, a two and a two. Alright, what's important? Let's think about what quest line we're in. We need to raise the things related to that. So let's raise willpower and agility. That's good because they both have three, too. That's good. Good, good, good. It's good. Yeah, and we open up Marar Dar's chest with his key. And whoever's chest this is, Telandril's. She didn't have any stuff in her chest. That's weird. Gogrog Ball Mal 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 Rog's chest. 